Hi, this is Jim Ware. I'm here talking to you this afternoon from the MCL Grand in Old Town, Louisville. And we're very excited to have two very special guests with us today. We have Joyce DeWitt and Tony Dow, who are here tonight <laughs> opening in a performance of the uh, award-winning play, Love Letters. And first of all, tell us a little bit about the play, if you would. Thank you. Love to. Um, this is a marvelous play. Um, it is very, very touching, and it's also very, very funny. The story of two um, people, a man and a woman, who have known each other since uh, first grade, uh, and they have been exchanging letters throughout their lives. They are now in their late 50s, mid to late 50s, and the history of their lives and the enormous encounters and little encounters they've had are in these letters that they write back and forth to each other. It is a very poignant play at moments. It's also very, very funny at moments. Um, I think Tony will agree. It's an amazingly wonderful night in the theater. Yeah, the thing about it is that uh, it's so well written. I mean, you know, we, we've done a lot of television, you've done a lot of theater, but television usually isn't written so well. So <laughs> I love getting something that's written well. well that, that brings up a very interesting point. Both of you have had very successful careers in television, and uh, we don't have to go into that because everybody knows what those, those credits <laughs> are, but, but it's a very different experience uh, acting on the stage with a live audience. Would you like to tell us about what that's like for you? Um, quickly, I'll give my version. I mean, acting is acting. It's the same. You, you. Um, Spencer Tracy is given credit for this quote. I don't know if it was Spencer or not, but I don't think he would mind being said that it was. Um, acting, you, what is acting? You walk out onto the stage, you plant your feet firmly on the ground, you look the other guy right in the eye, and you tell the truth. So the essence of acting is that you become, for the suspended period of time, this other human being, mind, body, and soul. Um, with this pinchy bit of yourself that knows that, you know, you really aren't going to use a real knife, it's a plastic knife. But that piece stays in the wings, right? Um, and then when you're working in the theater, you simply have to expand that in a way that is still centered in truth, but will reach the 50th row. Whereas with a camera, it's two inches from your nose sometimes. So it's a matter of how large you have to allow the expression but essentially acting is acting just look at that other person and be who you're supposed to be with them and accept their reality you go well the theater scares me to death it's <laughs> actually people out there and so, but i've done a lot of it so i'm sort of getting over it he's really wonderful in it i think that uh, i think she hit it on the nose i think uh, since i was brought up in television uh, the subtleties of television I enjoy, um, and this is nice because it's a it's a very intimate theater, and uh, I think you can hear from the back row when we do it, and we're not presenting anything. We're living our character. Uh -huh, I agree. And uh, uh, speaking of the theater, this is such a beautiful theater. What an amazing theater the Grand Theater is. Um, it's gorgeous inside. If you haven't seen a play here, you should come see our play because it's fabulous and. This man is so wonderful to work with. This is a beautiful heart, and this is a beautiful talent, and a beautiful man to look at. So my character's having an okay time, trust me, and so is Joyce. <laughs> well, uh, given those kind of revelations, uh, I, I would like to ask you to expose another side of your performing ability. Oh, dear. You mean that stripper thing? No, 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 no. Thank goodness for editing, right? <laughs> uh, I'm actually speaking about the fact that you have a musical theater background. Not too many people know that. You want to talk about that? You know, I do. Um, uh, the difference in Hollywood is that people anticipate that you, if you do comedy, you do comedy. They are like in shock that you actually can do drama. In the theater, it is absolutely common uh, and perhaps at many times required, but it's assumed that you can sing, dance, and act, that you do all three things if you start in the theater, which I did when I was 13. But yes, I love doing musicals. Um, I love it because your character has the opportunity to express with their whole body, not just with their attitude or their movement or the sound of their voice or the way in which they look, but their whole body. Just like um, at the closing of a big game and you're running down the court and your whole body wants to put that basket in and then, you know, we've won the game. You're suddenly your character gets to tell their story in song and dance, so your whole body speaks. It's a magically fun thing to do. I love it. I've been doing it since I was 13 years old. Have you ever done a musical? Can't sing, can't dance, don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> Looks really cute and can act really good. That's all he needs. Well, but you have other talents uh, yes, that, that, he does. that many people don't know about, and that you are an acclaimed sculptor who is exhibited all over the place. Would you like to talk about that form of art that you do? Okay. Well, I um, 
Through my whole acting career, I had always planned to try to become a sculptor when, sculptor when I uh, retired. And uh, I had directed television for 18 years. The last 18 years of my career was directing. And so um, I just got retired a little bit earlier than I <laughs> planned to. And um, so I started, uh, you know, doing sculpture in the early 2000s. And uh, yeah, I've been very lucky. I had a I have a, a gallery in uh, Little Rock. I, I was fortunate. I was representing the United States in a in a invitational show at the Louvre in Paris, and uh, that was pretty exciting. No kidding. Yeah, no kidding. Uh, ah. How lucky can that be? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, that's that, that's that's uh, w what I do. And um, if you want to see what it is, it's TonyDowSculpture.com. Definitely take a look. Well, and I was hoping you'd give that information because uh, I've taken a look and it's, it's really outstanding work. I think people will enjoy it. Um, the, we really enjoy coming to the MCL Grand to see these two people in love letters. And there are still tickets available for performances tonight, which is uh, the 4th of May uh, at 7.30 p.m. Then there are two performances tomorrow, one at 2.30 p.m. and one at 7.30 p.m. And you can go to www.texasmusicals.com to order tickets online or you can come and buy them at the box office an hour before the show. Thank you too for taking the time on your opening uh, day to do this. I really appreciate it and we'll look forward to seeing you on the stage. All right. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.